Retro Rob's Bad Apples. Well, hello there, real gamers. Retro Rob here, and welcome to Retro Rob Plays Everything. Today, I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, and that's actually play a game. Uh, I still do it on my live stream, but I've been doing a lot of like talking head stuff, or so doing some unboxings, or uh, well, what have you, whatever. And uh, I just noticed it's been a while since I did a game, and it's been a very long time since I did something specific to the Mac. Uh, today what we're looking at is No Man's Sky on the Mac. They just released a Mac uh, port for it like a week or two ago, and I thought I'd check out how it runs. Uh, before we get going, I, I'm going to give you one warning, uh, and that is, I don't know if it happens to everybody, but this definitely hosed up my cloud save. It's now cloud saving the Mac one. It didn't recover the PC version's cloud save, and uh, now I've got like a, a save error. So I've lost all my progress from the PC version. So uh, if anybody else has had that, let us know in the comments down below so other people can avoid my fate. Anyway, it might have just been me. You know, who knows? I, I'm really lucky with that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm running uh, M1 Mac. Uh, it is uh, M1 Pro, 16 gigs of RAM, and this, of course, is a MacBook Pro 14. All right, let's check it out. All right, we're in the options right now. I'm just going to real quick go to the display settings. I'm on full screen, 1920 by 1080. That's pretty standard stuff. Uh, I've got everything set to enhanced. Anti-aliasing is using Metal FX. I don't... Temporal. Actually, I think it should be spatial, so I'm going to switch. There we go. Because I think that that... Uh, resolve some frame rate issues. All right. Ah, yeah. And then we got balanced uh, for metal FX quality. Hit look at no description at all. And then you got some motion blur amount. I'm gonna bump that down a little bit for this. Uh, there is some overhead to uh, actually recording this, so I apologize. You're not gonna get the full performance but in general it does seem to perform okay oh my goodness that looks horrible like that wow that is insane uh we won't be doing that <laughs> wow that really really makes a big difference there that's crazy I, I don't understand how that could be. Look at the difference between those two. That's crazy. All right, so anyway, um, I think I mentioned in the last scene that I have lost, lost my save game, which uh, really kind of sucks. Uh, let's see. Carbon nanites. Okay, so let's start doing that. Oop. Cannot complete repair. What am I missing here? Oh, I gotta make that. Alright. Return. It's been a while since I've played this, so, you know. I want that bulk caster. No, I don't want that. All right, I got to get this. I got to make the uh, nanotubes, apparently. Where are you, nanites? Where are you? I just got some. Uh, where are you? Carbon nanotubes? What do I need? Oh, I just need carbon. Nat nanites. See? Totally rusty. Eh, I want to make more of those. And... 
then go back to the multi-tool, get that, and let's do that. Installed, okay. Now I can do this. Lovely. All right, any idea where my ship is here? Damaged machinery. I think I'm going to go up on a hill here. Where's my ship? Alright. Use the compass and the analysis by... Oh, wait. Derp! There's my ship! Find Hermetic Seal. Already did. Come on. Okay, so let's do a scan here. And there's a little two over here. Ooh. I do need to hurry up and get back to my ship. But I can do this. There's some more down here. And let's do some repairs to the exosuit. There. I'm good. Let's head back to the ship. Man. Walking around everywhere sucks. Definitely the suckiest way to get around. Kind of curious to see the playback on this and see if it's uh, if the recording overhead is doing anything. Kind of curious. I can tell um, it's playing a little tiny bit rougher while I'm recording than it generally does. So that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, yeah. Got to get to that ship. Yeah, did you see that? There's a little bit of a stutter. And I do get stutters every once in a while just playing it. They're not um they're not terrible, but that one was it, it they're definitely a lot worse when I'm recording. All right, here we go. My sad sack of a ship is down here. So I do have the setting. Oh, I do have the settings a little bit higher than I have them on my Steam Deck. Oh, 
crap. Hurry up, get back to the ship! Whew. There we go. Alright. Good, good, good. Uh, tab, let's repair that pulse engine. Alright, so I have an engine again. No, oh, how are we gonna get this, guys? Dihydrogen jelly. Pure ferrite. Okay. So our goal is to get everything repaired today and uh, get my ship to uh, to take off, which would be great. All right. I need a portable refiner, and I get to build that. Coolio. Now we're gonna make a project. Uh, what is it? Looks like we can already make this. <laughs> Consumable. I got the jelly, so let's take care of that. Do I know what I'm doing? No. I really don't. It's been too long. Jeez, it's amazing. It, I probably haven't played it in about a month, and it's amazing how much uh, you lose. Oh. <laughs> See what I mean? Back in the ship. Back in the ship! One of the two things we can fix. Let's fix that. And we've got an environmental warning right now. Woohoo. Yes. Additional deploy a portable refiner. Okay, I'm going to make some metal plating. Hopefully it's not too bad out. All right. Do, do, do. How do I make it? What else? What else do I need here? Access the build menu with Z. And there we go. Okay, what do we need? Ferrite dust. Which we have plenty of. Let that grind for a little bit. Wait. I gotta run it, don't I? Yeah, E. Uh, I don't want to use all this, though. Well, I can begin and then just stop it, I believe. Boop. I will take that back. I'll take some of that back. Hey. <laughs> and I will take that.
All right. Launch systems are on. Oh. Are online. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Urgh. Meh. T. As in trash it. All right. W to take off. Woohoo! And seek answers among the stars. Oh, whoa. Boy, controlling this with a mouse is kind of freaky. Wait, can I, uh, can I switch to my, uh, yeah, good. I can use my joystick now. See, that looks a little bit off, doesn't it? So, graphically, I think it's kind of not perfect. Okay, we've tested. And select. Yay. Okay. And I'm to go there. You know, we could just not use the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? Just, uh, the pulse drive, and we could just, uh, you know, take eight hours or whatever. Oh, come on. A little bit more. Pulse drive will autopilot. Okay. We'll boost though. And we'll make a landing over here and then uh, we will call it for today. Approach the slight, the uh, slight can't read. Approach the site and slow down with left trigger and then land with X. There we go. Arriving in 43 seconds. Feel free to fast forward at this point. I have nothing wiseacre to say today. I a little bit tired, to tell you the truth. But anyway. See, there's a little bit of a stutter there. Again, I, I'm not 100% uh, whether that is uh, because I'm recording using OBS right now or whether it's truly choking up. All right. And landing. What a terrible 
terrible landing. All right, there we go. And that wraps it up for No Man's Sky on the Mac. We just got a little test drive around. Um, it, it seems to be performing okay. It does get an occasional stutter. I got about the same thing on the Steam Deck, uh, but I don't get that on my gaming PC. But that said, I mean, my gaming PC's got 32 gigs of RAM, and it's got a, uh, you know, an RTX 3060 in it, so it's expected to perform a bit better, I would think, uh, than this. But uh, it's not bad. I'd say if you've got a Mac and that's the only thing you have to play this game on, uh, you might as well go ahead and give it a try because this is a great game. Um, I, I'd be a little worried if you're mixing like your, uh, your Mac stuff and your PC stuff because uh, as I mentioned at the beginning and I think once during the video as well, I did have some problems with the saves. I basically lost uh, my save game on this, which... Uh, that really sucks. Uh, so just be uh, be safe. Practice safe gaming when you do this. Uh, but if you've just got a Mac and it's the only thing you play it on, uh, I don't think you're gonna have a terrible uh, a terrible experience with it. It's really not too bad. Anyway, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.